hello guys welcome back to another episode of Android SQLite database tutorial okay in this episode we are going to we are moving to the next segment of our Android application so here we are going to learn how to update a database how to update a table in SQLite so here whenever the value of status is 2 we invoke an activity that performing the database updation using intent filter so first we have to log in the user so we need all this code segment again so I copy all this code segment I just copy all this code segment and paste it here so here uh, we performing the user authentication we get the data back from the database and check whether the user is a valid one or not and if the user is a valid one uh, we can move to the next activity that is the update activity so if the login status is true one then we can performing the database updation so here I call the activity that performing the database updation using indent filter so here is the update layout here is the update layout that performing the database updation so here you need to enter a new username and click update so here I'm going to I'm moving to the next uh, next activity using the indent object update filter so here we need to pass two data uh, to the next activity the username and password so for that I create an object of bundle here so now I have to attach the two data username and password to the bundle object using put string method uh, first is the username so put the key called the username and provide a value here the value uh, we get the value from the variable called the name so now we have to pass the value for the username we got the username from the variable name so put that variable name here okay now we have to pass the password of the user so bn dot put string using the method put string and provide a key I put a key called the user pass that representing the password of the user and we got the password from the variable called the user pass we got the password of the user from this variable so put that variable name here okay now we have to attach the bundle object into indent filter object so I dot put X class using the method called put X class and uh, specify that bundle class object okay now we can start the activity and we have to finish this activity using the finish method so here is the update activity the Java class file first we have to catch the username and password from the indent filter object so I create I declare two variable here username and user pass username and user pass and also create a variable for representing the new username which is provided by the user so first we have to create we have to get back the bundle object from the indent so using the method called the get indent and get back the indent object using get get text class method now we have to get back the two string variables string from the bundle object so username is equal to bn dot get string and put the key here the key for the username is username username I'll put user pass equal to user pass equal to bn dot bn dot get string 
and provide the key for the password here the key for key for password is a user pass that is the key for password okay now here is the update layout update layout file here is we using a editor that uh, that is the id new user and we use a button called the b update so now go to the update activity dot java i just changed the username into new username because the id and the variable are same so here i create an object of button class b update b update b update just create an object of button and also we need an object of edit text so create an object of edit text edit text new user now we need need to import the package for button okay now we have to initialize the two objects for button and edit text so b update b update equal to find the viewpy id find the viewpy id r dot id dot b uh, b update b update is the id for the button and new user equal to new user equal to find the viewpy id r dot id dot new username which is the id for the ID for the edit text. Now we have to cast it into button, and here we need to cast it into edit text. Okay, now we have to create the action listener for the button. So b update dot b update dot set on click listener. B update dot set on click listener. New view dot on click listener. Here we need to import some package for on click listener. So import the package for on click listener. Also we need a semicolon here. Okay, now we have to get the get the username from the new string variable. So new username equal to uh, that edit text that is uh, new user dot get string get string get text dot to string. Okay, we got the new username. Okay, now we have to create. Now we have to create some. Uh, we got the username, user password. Okay, now we have to create some uh, method for updating the uh, user information. So I create a new method here, public void uh, update user info. Just create a new method. Uh, used to for updating the user information called the uh, update user info okay we have to pass some arguments we have to pass the object of the database operation class and we have to pass the all the username we have to pass the all the username of the user uh, now we have to pass the all the password we have to pass the password of the user because we here here we are going to update the user using these two uh, column names called the username and password also we have to pass the new username of the user to this method i name the variable as new user new username So now we have to initialize an object of SQLite database. So here I'm going to initialize an object for SQLite database SQ equal to and use the database operation class DOP dot get writable database. Get writable database. Okay, now here we are going to create some selection criteria. So here we got the here we are going to uh, update the database based on the username and password so here I am going to provide the where clause so table info dot username 
table info dot username table info dot username and provide the like operator so here we are going to update the database based on the username and password so here uh, we are going to create a selection criteria based on username and password so a uh, table info dot username like and table info dot user pass table info dot user pass table info dot user pass again we have to add the like operator we have to add the like operator because we are going to update the database of the user that satisfy both the username and password okay uh, now we have to provide the arguments for this selection arguments for the where clause so string args it's an array here the arguments are username and password are the variables are uh, username and password user pass okay uh, now we have to create an object of content values to add the new value to the table so create an object of content values content values values equal to new content values new content values now we have to add the new username into the content value object so values dot values values dot using the method put first we have to provide the key for the column name here the key is table info dot username table info dot username that is the key for the username and we have to provide the value we got the value from the argument called the new username okay uh, now we can update the database using the object of SQLite database so sq dot use the method called update here you need to pass four arguments first is the table name so table info dot table name table info dot table name that is the first argument and second one is the content value object here it is values and third one is the where clause or the selection criteria string here is the selection that is selection and the final argument is the arguments for the condition arguments for the where clause so here it is ARGS okay now we complete the coding for update the database update a table on our SQLite database okay now go to the update activity here we need to invoke that method so first we need an object of context class so create an object of context class here and initialize with this pointer now we need an object of database operation class I name it as DOP okay now we have to initialize that object of database operation DOP equal to DOP equal to new uh, database operations and pass the context class object CTX CTX okay now we can call that method with appropriate arguments DOP dot update info update user info first we have to pass the database operation object second one is uh, username second one is the all the username of the user uh, third one is the user password and final one is the new username of the user so new username new username okay now we have to show some message to the user using a toss toss dot make text using the method make text uh, first we have to pass the context base, uh, base context and uh, updation updation success updation success show a message called the updation of the database is success now provide the duration for the toast toast dot uh, I, ch I change it as long now make the toast visible using show method 
make the dots visible using show method okay now we complete the entire coding now we have to finish this activity using the finish finish method uh, finish the activity using finish method okay now we complete all the code segments needed for update the database now we can check the uh, now we can check our application so I am going to run it so run our Android application so first I'm going to register a new user to the database so here I'm going to register a new user I, I name it as Prabish that is the username and provide a password for the user I, I provide it as password and confirm that password confirm that password now click register so now the user successfully registered to the database so now I'm go I'm um, try to log in the user so provide the username Prabish provide the username and provide the password here the password is password password and click login so now the user can please wait okay now the user can successfully log in so our database properly work now now I'm going to update the user called Prabish so again uh, login the user and provide password for the user password password and click login so now here uh, we successfully login now here we have to provide the new username for the user so here I am going to put a new username for the user Prabish RK so I change the username of the user and click update so now the updation success so now I am going to now I am trying to log in the old user with the old username so here I'm going to provide the old username of the user it is Prabish it is Prabish and provide the password for the user it is password and now login so now the login must be failed because there is no such user is available okay login failed that means now the database is successfully updated into the new username so now I am going to login with the updated username so the updated username is Prabish RK that is the updated username so now provide the password password and click login click login okay please wait please wait okay now the new user can login with the updated user information okay guys now we completed all the application segments okay I put all these code, code segments on my blog and you can download the entire project from my blog thank you for watching